No, I guess that's a Hesperorus. I don't think they're hostile unless you... There's a shark over there. Unless you steal their egg, which we did, but it wasn't around when it happened, so it never happened. If the Hesperorus didn't get a screenshot, it never happened. Welcome everybody to Ark Ascendant. I am so excited to play this. Uh, I just finished, for those of you who may not know, uh, an Ark Fjorder series. I took a, uh, I've got about over 3,000 hours in this game. I took about a two and a half year hiatus and then I, when I came back, uh, I played Ark Fjorder. Uh, had a series going for, I don't know, two or three months and I just finished it this weekend, this past weekend, and uh, very much enjoyed the map. Um, but now it's time to do Arc Ascendant. So I'm going to kind of go through some settings and talk about a few things. But for those of you who don't care about all the intro stuff, I'll put a, a timestamp in the video uh, for when the action actually starts. Okay, so first thing is that I have a, I've got a little bit of an older machine. Um, it, it, it's, it's, uh, I got a 3060 Ti and a 7820X uh, i7 processor, 64 gigs of RAM, SSD drives, all that sort of thing. Um, and in my testing, I have played a few hours of this just off camera to, you know, try and dial it in. Uh, I can pretty much record, you know, run OBS and record and play this game on pretty much medium settings across the board with no clouds in the sky. Um, and that seems to be a, a happy medium that works for my machine. But of course, if we have to make adjustments as we go along, uh, we will do that. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started uh, with a new game here. And uh, the first thing we're going to do is take a look at some settings here. So let's go to game rules. And uh, we're going to keep all of these settings on normal except for harvesting damage. Um, I, I had to turn that up a bit because it was just, it was very low. But I'll tell you what I am going to do. I'm going to turn this, dial this back down to about three. Um, because I also have turned up the harvest amount uh, a little bit to the multiplier. Uh, so we'll keep that on three, but basically this means that um, I can harvest faster because I damage the resources more quickly. Okay. Um, okay, so that takes care of that. A creature harvesting damage for creatures is set to 3.2 by default. I think we'll go ahead and keep that on. I'm not adjusting anything else for the moment uh, in regards to that. I uh, don't think we need to... Uh, uh, no, actually I did. It looks like it's keeping some of the settings... Uh, or maybe even almost all the settings that I had earlier, which is great. Uh, so we are going to keep uh, placement collision or, or disable placement collision because that's just a pain in the ass uh, to have that on. Uh, I am going to do an XP multiplier of three and a taming speed multiplier of three. I actually played with this on four on Fjorder and um, I want to bump it down to three for just a little bit more of a challenge, but anything less than that just takes too damn long. Uh, this is where I have increase the harvest yield multiplier so so we, we're bumped that up by three times um and uh, i think that should probably be pretty good uh we can we can allow speed you know a leveling i don't care about that stuff uh, we are going to put max difficulty on uh, so uh, 150s are our max level uh pvo pve mode hardcore mode none of that stuff matters we are going to allow unlimited respects mostly what i do with that is i respec uh you know towards the mid to latter part of the game if I have an Ingram, uh, like an Ascendant Ingram, or Blueprint, I should say, uh, to make, you know, the highest quality and then respect back to whatever we had before. And if you don't have this on, then there's like a 24-hour cooldown in real life. Uh, okay, so as far as rules go, I don't think anything here is too terribly important to us. This is a single-player game, obviously. Uh, so a lot of this stuff is, um, you know, designed for servers. Okay, let's go to Advanced. And let's see, PvE... Disable structure decay is on. Dino decay disable. Dino decay is on. That just doesn't make sense in a in a single player game. Uh, flyer carry doesn't matter. Um, one thing I uh, I am going to do is I'm going to turn off the uh, no. We want to turn that on, but I want the diseases to be non permanent uh, because I disagree with any game that has some kind of a debuff 
uh, persist through death, and this game will do that. So, so we are going to have them on, but they're going to be non-permanent. Uh, one thing I am going to do different is I am going to disallow cave flyers, and we can't have Des Desmoduses on this map anyways without a mod, which I'm not going to add them. Um, and that's going to make caves quite a bit more challenging for us. I did have them on in, in Fjord, but uh, for for this we're gonna we're gonna keep them turned off. Okay. Uh, let's see. I don't think any of the rest of this stuff matters. Uh, cave building is on, and uh, gamma is allowed too. Of course, we've got to make sure you guys can see what's going on. I don't think any of this PVP stuff matters to us. Uh, yeah. So we'll leave that on. I'm gonna have a slower overall day cycle and a slower daytime and then a faster night time okay uh, so that way the nights go by a little bit quicker and let's see spoiling time we're gonna keep that on just the default setting for now and all of the rest of that stuff too harvest health is two <clears throat> that if you know that makes the trees and the bushes last a little bit longer so you can get more stuff out of them so we'll keep that on too for now uh, crop decay speed scanning factor higher numbers mean slower crop decay I've always felt that the, you know, the, the corn, the potatoes, and the carrots, and all that thing in this game spoil way faster than is realistic. So I have that turned um, uh, turned up to four. Uh, poop interval, we're keeping the same. Mating interval is a quarter. I think that's the default setting. Um, as far as uh, mating, uh, or I'm sorry, breeding and those sorts of things go, I'm, I'm not really too concerned about that yet until we start doing it. And then if I feel like I need to fine tune uh, some of those settings, I will do that. Um, but uh, these are the settings that I'm going to start with here. Okay, wild dinos are going to stay the default. Tame dinos are going to stay the default uh, for all of this stuff. Um, my player stats are going to stay the default. XP multipliers. Um, I did change the XP for boss bosses to five. I think we should get a shit ton of XP for killing a boss, considering how much work it takes to you know to get there in the first place. Alphas I set to two and a half, cave creatures to one and a half, and then everybody, everything else is just on one there. Uh, miscellaneous, I don't think any of this really matters to us as far as that goes. Okay, I'm not going to change anything about Ingrams. And yeah, I, uh, we're going to go ahead and get started with this. And like I said, you know, I, I reserve the right to, of course, change things as I feel are appropriate to a single player game. Uh, we are playing, of course, on the island. That's all that's available right now with Arc Ascended. But I'm kind of excited to do that because I want to kind of get back to uh, the original feel of Arc. You know, when I first started playing, uh, and when I did first start playing, I played uh, single player for a bit before I, you know, started joining servers and playing with other people. And I want to kind of recreate that. That just really amazing. This is the, one of the best games I've ever played in my life. Feeling that I had, you know, when I first started playing this game. But of course, with all the the new newer stuff. Uh, that's available now as far as mods go there's a couple of mods i might be interested in um i, I don't want to go crazy with mods uh in, in this playthrough because again i want to kind of have somewhat of that authentic feel but uh one thing i do want to do is i want to look at a couple of mods that just simply make sense to have um, so all of these just add you know new dinos to the game i'm not particularly interested in that but there was a couple here I was looking at that um, I think might make sense. Um, so first of all, Explorer Notes Tracker. What does that do exactly? Adds a scanner that can be used to track down Explorer Notes. You can activate the scanner by holding the Once enabled, an icon will appear on the HUD displaying the location distance of the closest Explorer, closest Explorer Note. Okay, you know what? Uh, I think... I think what we might do is um, I, I'd like to get the Explorer Notes. I, I know the story of Ark, and most of you watch them probably do by now too, but I'd still like to collect them um, and just kind of, you know, role play that part of the game a little bit. But I'm not going to do this now. If we get towards the end of the playthrough and I still am just having trouble, you know, finding the Explorer Notes, I don't necessarily need to find every single one of them, but I'd like to find as many as I can. We might enable something like that, but we're not going to do that right now. Uh, okay, let's see what else. We're not going to get a mod that's going to make things easy peasy, limit squeezy, but again, just kind of practical things. Uh, there was something in here that I saw. Um, that yeah, this one, flyer seatbelts. Okay, so so basically, I I, I wish that Wildcard would have just added this into the game right from the get go. Well, basically, you know, if you accidentally tap the E key on a flyer. 
a message comes up, are you sure you want to dismount? So it looks like what this will do is we have to double tap E to actually uh, dismount. Um, so we are going to install this and uh, use that because it's very practical and it's something that I think should be in just the game in general. Okay, stacking mods. Um, I might try and make things work without a stacking mod at first unless I just get incredibly frustrated with it. Uh, again, just to kind of get back to that authentic um, arc feel. So we're going to hold off on stacking mods for now. Um, let's see. Fruit, cedar, meat, spoiler, easy tame, view station. Nah. I, I kind of like the idea of that, but I think we're going to go old school as much as possible. Cryopods. I might... I might consider cryopods later on. We're not going to do it earlier on, but you know, when we start getting into end game and we have whole armies to move around for boss fights, stuff like that, uh, I might, you know, I, I might capitulate <laughs> and do a cryopod. Uh, Super Spyglass. I had this uh, in um, on Fjorder, and I, I think I'm going to do it. it. It's not super overpowered. Like it doesn't show you. Uh, well, actually, I don't know. Does it show like people? Not that it matters because I'm not playing with it any other people, anyways. But the main reason I, I got this is because of the fact that a you could zoom, but more importantly, you could see the stats uh, of creatures for for breeding. Um, so I think we're gonna go ahead and go with this too. It's just not something, in my opinion, that's way overpowered because I think the vanilla game should already show us, you know, the the stats like the score numbers and stuff for breeding and it doesn't at least not until I know it did on Genesis but I don't know if it's going to on the island so we're going to install that too and then let's see better rafts what exactly does this do um to, 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 to help. you need a raft that's at least twice as fast and has an increased structure build area and a structure limit increase to 180 and you can go backwards well yeah let's do that too <laughs> I'm not doing it so much for the speed, but, you know, the, the being able to back up and, you know, add more things to it. Uh, I like that idea. Okay. Let's see. We're, yeah, I'm so used to using auto collectors, but I think I'm going to try and go old school and try and manage without that, at least for now. Like I said, though, if I get, you know, if we start getting into mid to end game and uh, things are just taking too much time in real life, you know, because let's just face it, there is a lot of off-camera time in this game. Uh, you guys don't want to just watch me do every single thing. It'll get incredibly boring. So, um, you know, so I might add some of that later. But for, for the start, anyways, especially for the beginning struggle, we're going to, uh, you know, we're going to try and do things old school. Okay, so what is this? Stop at the steal. Pegomastic will no longer steal items. Um... What about, oh, oh yeah, Ichthyornis can no longer target players or their teams. This means you need not fear your little for being scooped up. Uh, you know, here's the thing. I hate Ichthyornis and Pegomastics, just like everybody else. But it is part of the challenge of the game. And as much as I hate it, I'm going to I'm gonna deal with it. <laughs> and I'll probably regret that too. Okay, let's see. Anything else here? that um we might be interested in teleporters another stacking mod better forges what does that mean for my person anything replace craft that looks like it might just smelt faster or or fix an issue i'm not going to do that um, because smelting faster comes when you are able to make the industrial forge Let's see, fish baskets, super spyglass. Oh, you know what? I think this is the spyglass that I actually had. Not that other one. Yeah, I, I think we're going to go with this one and not the other one because the other one did look like it might be a little too OP. So let's install that one and we'll remove the the other one. I mostly just, you know, I want to build the zoom and I want to see the stats. That's really the only two things that I'm getting that for. Okay, advanced fishing bait, egg collector, cryopods. Yeah, it's funny, you know, there's like three different, at least three different cryopod uh, modifications already for the game. Better tranks. Do, 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 do. Automated arc. 
Okay. Yeah, nah. I don't. What does utilities plus do? Oh, so this is like the reusable bolas and stuff. <laughs> um, again, maybe later. Let's just go old school for now and, and see if we can deal with that as best as we can. But, I, you know, again, I reserve the right to install some of this stuff later as the game gets more and more involved and time consuming in real life. Uh, OK, I think I think that's good. OK, so let's go back to let's go to installed mods. Wait, what? didn't I just install those mods? What the hell? Um, active mods. Wait a second. Didn't I just install those mods? I'm confused. Let's go here. The first one we installed was... Okay, it says it's installed. Let's find that uh, Spyglass one. Uh, oh, see, now that one didn't install. I wonder if the other one that we did want... Uh, yeah, this one. See, that one didn't install either. Whoops, hold on. Install. <laughs> I wonder if you have to wait for it to fully install before you leave the page. Maybe that's what the issue is. Okay. Uh, wait, what? So, yeah, for some reason it's not installing. I don't know. I don't know why. Okay, um, oh, there we go. Oh, uh, maybe it just took a moment for it to show up. Okay, so we got the sea belts, we got the raft. Uh, I just don't know why the, you know, why the uh, spyglass isn't installing. Let me try this again. There we go. Now it says installed. Yeah, that was weird. Okay, uh, is that it? Or it seems to me like, was there another one um, that I did? I can't remember now. <laughs> here, let me just check really quick. Oh, here we go. Available mods. Okay. Um, yeah, I don't know. There we go. I don't know, it, you know if it matters what order these are in. Probably not for, for these particular mods. Okay, good. So that we figured that out. All right, guys, I think it's time for us to get started then with our adventure here on the island. I'm very excited to do this. I kind of fast-tracked the uh, the end of Fjorder, you know, so I could get into this because it came out uh, over the weekend, and I still had a few more episodes to finish on Fjorder, so I got that all done over the weekend. All right, so let's do our character here. Uh, we're going to be OG, of course, and um, what's, what's this? Yeah, good enough. I don't care about that stuff. I, you know, it doesn't really matter a whole lot what we look like, to be honest with you, except for we do want to make sure we have the beard. That's the most important thing. Jeez, some of these guys are like enormous. <laughs> Crap. Uh, here, reset. Let, let, let's just, here, let's just do this. Okay. So, um, I color. Let's go with with brown because that's the color of my my eyes. Okay, good enough. Um, hairstyle. If we go with one of these hairstyles, does the hair still grow out? Uh, I don't know, because uh, we need the hair, you know, for crafting a few things. So I guess we'll just go with this hair. Uh, hair length. Yeah, it's long. Hair color. We want it to be gray. Hair tips. Uh, yeah, okay. I guess we could go hair tips, but let's make it black. Um, eyebrow style. Only two options there. Okay, well... Facial hair, this is the important one. Okay, so we want the beard. We want it to be as long as it can be. 
That's the most important thing. And of course we need that to be a gray beard and the tips can be gray too. Uh, what's it look like? Nah, nah, let's just make it all gray. Okay. Uh, the rest of this stuff, I, I mean, it just doesn't really matter to me, to be honest with you. <laughs> so, um, I kind of don't like the, uh, you know what? I don't care. I'm going to save it. Okay. Name your character preset. Okay. This is my character preset. OG. All right. Create. Um, he's just like normal body side or, uh, size, right? <laughs> well, he looks like a freaking bodybuilder. Um, body template. Jeez, that guy's like a giant. Uh, body composition. Oh, here we go. Okay. I just want to be kind of normal. Whatever that even means. <laughs> it's like really skinny. Um... That's just weird. that's bizarre how that works. Yeah, we'll be kind of kind of lean and muscular, but not like super bulked up. Okay, that works. Um, save. OG preset. I I guess I just uh, overwrites the one we have, and there we go. Okay, let's do it. Okay, so these are the spots that I've you know I, I played a little bit on the island. Um, again, I want to at least. For the start, I want to try and recreate my original experience. And that means that this little kind of outcropping or, you know, promontory here is where I built my very first base in this game. So I think we're going to do that again just to kind of recreate that nostalgia. Um, now, my, my original or my main base in my first playthrough ended up being where the redwoods currently are now but in the original game there wasn't uh, any redwoods so it was that it was like a, a meadow with a big lagoon and stuff or a big lake uh, but that's not there anymore so uh, we'll have to figure out where we're going to have our ultimate base because I, I want our ultimate base to be in more in a central location anyways but we'll start um with having our base here in the same place that i or originally had it okay and so with that being said um this is supposed to be a, a medium zoned to spawn in, but let's go ahead and give it a try and see what I've happens. Are you been waiting for? You might be. I hope so. It's been so many cycles since I was her. Do I even still remember hope? I wasn't sure you'd ever turn up. The odds just kept getting longer. I guess I've been losing faith. Well, they've been gaining power. You have to reach me. Everything depends on your survival. Master this world. Make allies of its many creatures. Grow your strength and skill. Explore this place like I did so long ago. Put the pieces together and find me, Survivor. You may be the only one who can. Okay, that was loud. <laughs> I'll have to tone that down during the editing. Uh, that was Helena, by the way, for those of you who don't know. Uh, I am familiar with the story of Ark, um, pretty much the whole thing, based upon, you know, the three... 3,000 plus hours I've played it, plus, you know, watching some story uh, videos and other people play it and that sort of thing. So, okay, here we go. Uh, so the first thing we got to do, guys, is we've got to get rid of the clouds um, because it'll give us a way better frames. And um, hold on a second. I got the command right here. Because let's face it, we're not going to spend a lot of time looking at the clouds anyways, and they it, they don't look good on, on the lower settings. As you can see over here on the right-hand side of my screen, they're all just funky looking. Um, so let's go ahead and type that command in, and the clouds are gone, and we got better frames already. And there's still some, you know, kind of 
background clouds, I, I guess, if you want to call them that, too, in the sky. But, you know, it's like, like I said, we're not going to spend a ton of time looking up at the sky anyways. It's much more important for us to have frames. For those of you who are interested, here are my settings. Um, so everything, like I said, is pretty much on medium, just about damn near across the board here. Um, and motion blurs off, light bloom, light shafts um, are off. I do have these other things turned on for now. And um, I am obviously running OBS right now. I do have DLSSS, uh, DLSS on. I've got a 3060T high card. And uh, yeah, so we're going to start with these settings. And then, of course, if we have to uh, make adjustments as we go, we have to make adjustments as we go. But the frames aren't too bad. I mean, they're they're playable. Okay, so um, where do we start? <laughs> uh, I guess we start with the, the usual, you know, gathering uh, fiber and punching trees and that sort of thing. Um, Man, I'm just so excited to to play Ascended here, and and also again have that uh, authentic um, arc feel, uh, get back to that feel. Uh, so let's see, crafting. Uh, we want to be able to make one of those, so we need to find a stone. We should be able to pick stone up. There we go, and um, we'll craft our first pick. What are those Ingram notes? Write your own text on the ground. You know, I've never actually used those things. Okay, so we already have three points available. Hmm, I wonder if um, I wonder if I have the XP turn up a little bit too high. Tell you what, let's do. Um, let's go to settings and uh, well, actually, we're gonna have to uh, go back up to the main menu to adjust that. I I don't want to make it too easy at the beginning because the beginning of the game is, in some ways, like the best part of the game, at least in terms of. The challenge of survival um, so let's go to game rules uh, no advanced XP multipliers where is our uh, where's our leveling multiplier generic harvest craft is it oh here it is right here yeah let's let's dumb this down to two uh, I, I think one's gonna take too long but Let's try two and see how that goes. Okay, uh, like I said, there's gonna be gonna have a few tweaks here and there uh, to to get just the right settings for for single player and for my sensibilities and what I you know the balance between what I think is fun and challenging versus just plain damn tedious, you know. Okay, so we we tone that down. Okay, so um, let's get the this down here on the toolbar hmm we kind of we kind of seem to be a little more framey than we were before well okay let's just go with it and see you know see how we do okay yeah we got to do some levels here so uh we definitely want health we definitely want stamina and we definitely want weight and we'll be you know we'll be doing fortitude and all that sort of thing too uh, let's get a campfire and a hatchet and a spear. Um, we'll get a storage box. We'll probably go ahead and start with a thatch building. And then, of course, we're going to want um, the the clothing. Okay, so that's all we have points for at the moment. All right, so now um, I want to make a, a hatchet. And if you... If you right click on this and do track, um, then it actually puts a little tracking thing uh, over there, which is really cool. Uh, so let's grab some flint. There we go. And then we'll go here and we'll craft this. And let's also, we have everything we need to do a torch too. So let's do a torch as well. And I'm gonna actually put this stuff over here because I'll, I'll save those slots for like my weapon and bow and stuff when the time comes. Uh, let's put the torch over here for now. Okay. Um, it would be absolutely phantasmagorical if we could get a moss chops right away. It just depends upon what they want to be fed. So what do you want, buddy? You want uh, a giant bee, honey? Nope, that's not going to happen anytime soon. <laughs> Damn it. Okay, why couldn't you just take a major berry? Okay, next we want to make a spear. Uh, actually, we want to make several spears, so let's track that, and we can take the stone hatchet off there. So it looks like we're going to need 
some wood fiber uh, and, and more flint and that sort of thing. Okay, let's put uh, a point into... Let's put another point into health. And uh, let's grab the stuff we need to make ourselves a few spears. So we'll get a little bit more flint here. The spears, uh, you know, break uh, very easily, of course. Uh, so you need to make a... You know, a good, I don't know, four or five of them. If you make too many of them, then they make you too heavy in the early game. Just grab a little more fiber here. Okay, and then let's get some wood. Um, what the hell was that? I don't know. I know we're leveling like crazy, but, you know, it's exponential, right? So the higher you get, the longer it takes. So even though it's happening pretty quickly now, even at just times two, um, craft nine. No, let's craft, let's craft a half dozen of those. Uh, it'll get harder and harder, of course, as time goes on. Some of the things that I, I talk about or, or demonstrate or whatever or show in the game, uh, you know, may be pretty basic. But, you know, uh, whenever you make a video as a YouTuber like I do, uh, you, you can't assume that everybody knows everything about the game. There's usually always a few people who are brand new to it. So that's why I, I'll explain some of those things that might be fairly elementary to a, a lot of you more experienced players. Uh, okay, let's see. What do we want? Let's do another point in weight. Let's do an, another point in uh, health. Okay, and then we're going to learn the rest of the clothing, the sleeping bag. Uh, let's see the bed and it looks like that's all we have points for until the next level. Okay. So we have six spears and we are still overweight. Can I make a storage chest? Yes. Let's make one of those so we can put some of this extra stuff in, um, just kind of temporarily. Uh, but we do want to actually work our way to where we're going to set up our base pretty soon here. I just want to get all of the, you know, the, uh, whoops, uh, most basic stuff. Okay, so obviously the wood is the heaviest. In fact, let's do weight. Yeah, it's already sorted by weight. Um, so we'll keep a little bit of wood on us, but uh, we'll put that, let's put some flint in there. And some, we don't need to be carrying metal around. That's not doing us any good uh, at the moment. Well, we're still pretty heavy. Well, let's put a couple more things in here. A little more wood. Oh, we were going to make a campfire, actually. Let's do that now just so we have, um, we can make some some food. So we're going to need that real quick here. Is there a deploy option from here? Place. Oh, cool. Nice. Okay, so there is. That way you don't got to put it on your toolbar. Oh, that's a nice, man. Uh, that's something that... Um, they had an Icarus, which was, was really handy. What level are you, dude? Are you killable at this point? You are... Wait, how come I can't see his level? Oh, it's... He's a 64. Yeah, I think that'd be too much. Let's just stick with easy kills to start with here. And we want to use the hatchet because we get more hide with the hatchet. And there's a compy. Is there a baby, a baby dodo around? Uh, not, not all the critters have babies, but some of them do. But and if you kill the baby, you actually get some prime meat. Then we could tra tame that compy over there. But it's he's already spotted us, so we're gonna have to just kill him. Uh, is his buddies? Oh shit! Scare me. Buddies around? Yeah, there's three more of them over there. I don't think they've spotted us yet though. Let's get some meat cooking up here. I like the look of the new campfire, too. It's very nice. Whoa. Uh, that wasn't good. All right, well, these guys will provide us with a little bit of meat and some hide and some XP. The dirty little rats. Get all your giblets there. 
Uh, looks like we harvested the other ones with the spear. Whoops. I got some kind of flickering going on. I don't know what the hell that is. Um, they did do quite a few updates uh, of the game over the weekend. Uh, I played it first on Friday night, even before they had done those updates. Okay, let's put... Uh, there's a lot of new berries, of course, in the game, too, as you can see. Let's just put all these berries in there. Uh, we don't care about the seeds for the time being. Um, okay, good. So, once we get... Let's get, um, let's get some armor going. And then, um, I'm going to switch these two around. Are we hungry? We're a little hungry. So let's eat. And we'll take a drink. The fish make that weird kind of chittering noise, and it's just, it's just really odd. Um... It, d it doesn't make sense, because fish don't make noises, at least not with their mouth. Uh, unless it's a whale, of course, but a whale's not a fish. Anyway, <laughs> where we're going is, is actually just right on the other side of that kind of pillar there, so we don't have far to go, but I'd like to I'd like to at least have a set of armor on, and let's see, how far to the bow? Jeez, man, we are leveling quick. Okay, let's do a little more stamina, and let's do some... We, we'll eventually do fortitude, but I think weight is probably one of our highest priorities right at the moment. Okay, what do we want right now? Bola could save our life. Uh, oh, good, we can do the bow. Uh, no, we can't. We have to. We need one more level before we can do the bow. Okay, so let's just sit on our points until we can get to the bow and arrow because that's going to be uh, a big uh, a big thing for us to get. Okay, so now what I'm going to do, guys, I'm just going to pick a bunch of fiber here and make all the cloth armor before we make our next move here. Okay, let's go ahead and put our clothing on, and that will help us uh, with... Oh, they changed this to cold and heat resist. It used to be hyperthermic and hypothermic resistance. How, how cool. Okay, so now we have some better heat resistance, which is good, and a little bit of cold resistance, too. Can't complain about that. Uh, all right, so I think before we leave this immediate vicinity... Let's see if we can get to our next level so we can get the bow going and then, then we'll head to where we're going to build our base. So I'm just going to kind of run around the beach and look for um, easy kills. We could, what is this? That is a Hesper, Hesperornis egg. Let's pick it up. That might get somebody mad at us, but... Okay. Um, we can use that for food if we have to because there's not really anything else we can do with it right now oh good here we, go. we got another dodo here thank you for your sacrifice mr dodo appreciate it and there's our next level okay so now we can make a bow and get some arrows going uh, we got to go back and get some wood for that I'm not sure how much that we need here first we got to do a point uh, let's do another point in health and then we're going to do the bow and arrows. Okay, we still have um, seven points left. Uh, we could do the water skin. We're going to need to do, of course, all the thatch building pieces. Uh, we need, need to do the mortar and pestle. I'm just trying to prioritize, you know, what is the most important thing, next thing to get. Uh, we could do a club so we can, you know, bowl of something and then knock it out. But I'm probably going to at least get to our base location and kind of get started with um, the building of it before we think too hard about taming anything. So with that in mind, um, we got the Thatch Foundation. Let's do the walls and the doorways and the doors. And then we'll do the ceiling and the roof pieces and all that sort of thing. Um when we get our next point okay so let's go into here grab the rest of this meat and uh, we need to we need to make the bow so we need some more fiber let's track that we don't need the spear tracked any longer i really like that feature man that is so nice so nice indeed uh and we're gonna need fiber for um 
I guess we can't pick any of that. Uh, we're going to need fiber for arrows, too. It takes flint, fiber, and thatch to make the arrows. Just don't want to get too too far like into the, the jungle or anything at this point. Okay, that's quite a bit of fiber. That should be good enough for now. Let's go back to our storage box here and see how much thatch I currently have in there and flint. Uh, we got 23 thatch. We have, or I mean, uh, flint, sorry. I don't have any thatch at all in there. Okay, while we're... Uh, let's get the bow crafted. Uh, let's see. Here we go. Get that going, and then I'm going to put some more wood in here. So we can keep cooking that meat. Okay, let's put the bow here. And next we want to make some arrows. I hear a, an ick. Uh, no, I guess that's a Hesperorus. I don't think they're hostile unless you... There's a shark over there. Unless you steal their egg, which we did. But it wasn't around when it happened, so it never happened. If the Hesperorus didn't get a screenshot, it never happened. Okay, let's get some thatch. And a couple more things of flint. And then we're just going to make a metric butt ton of arrows here. Uh, 63, yep, that's what we'll do. Okay, let's get another point into, let's say, weight. Weight is super important in the early game. Of course, so is uh, health and stamina to a lesser extent, too. But uh, we really need the weight. Okay, let's do a thatch ceiling for... Uh, wait, what? Oh, I'm locked up. What the hell? Uh-oh. That's not good. Um, uh, yeah, I'm completely frozen. All right, let's wait just a moment, see if something frees up. If not, I'm going to have to force close, I guess. This sucks. Okay, well, that was fun. Uh, we lost a whole shit ton of progress here. We're back to when we first made the uh, stone pick. So, yeah, I had, had a total crash there. Um, and, yeah, I, my frames are still not the best here. Uh, we might, I might need to do some more tweaking. What is this? That is a, a Moz Chop egg. Yeah, he's going to get pissed at me if I pick that up. Um, yeah, that sucks. Okay, well. Hopefully that doesn't happen a lot. I know the game's, you know, had a lot of a lot of issues and wildcards working on them. So Yeah. Uh let me look at something here, because my frames are just all of a sudden worse than they were before this crash occurred. Uh and by the way, yes, I did update my graphics drivers this morning. Uh, and I use uh the display driver utility DDU to completely clear everything off first before I install new drivers. I've done that for years. So it's not a driver issue. Um, and it doesn't look like anything's really changed here. Okay, well, um, let's just... Well, see, now it seems better. Uh, a little bit better. Let's just keep, you know, trying this and we'll see how things go. Okay, so back to... <laughs> We're back to level one. What the hell, man? Okay, well, it is what it is. Hopefully that doesn't happen a lot, like I said, because if it does, I'm going to get pretty irritated. Um, let's do two points in health and a point, uh, on weight and a point in stamina. So I guess those are all the Ingrams we had already learned up to that point. Uh, right? Yeah. Okay. So see, that's weird because it's, <sighs> We, we we know the bow and the arrows, even though we rolled back on our level. I, I, and that's actually a good thing. <laughs> uh, can we craft the bow? Yeah, we sure can. Okay. Um, so let me let me get kind of back to where we were before the crash occurred, and then, then we'll proceed. All right, guys. I think we're pretty much uh, ready to go here. So I got my armor remade. Uh, we got five spears. We got a bow with 48 arrows, five bolas. Our two stone tools, a torch, and some cooked meat. Um, so, like I said earlier, we don't, uh, fortunately, we don't have a real long ways to go. Uh, we're just going to go kind of on the other side of that pillar there to get to our destination. Uh, so, I'm just going to leave all this stuff here. I do have inside of here 
uh, 12 things of metal, which we might come back for later when the time comes for us to, uh, to use metal. Uh, but let's go ahead and get started here with our adventure. Uh, I checked the... There's a little... Oh, shit. There's more copies. I had to kill a few more copies again. Um, I checked the uh, Moz shops again, which is somewhere just up in the bushes there. And now it wants a rare flower, but I'm not sure where I would get one of those around here. I think there's some beaver dams out that way, but that's a little bit further away than I think we want to go right now. So let's just get to our where our base location is going to be, and then uh, we'll, we'll go from there. I want to... I, th I think I'm going to actually skip Thatch. Yeah, here he is right here. He's just kind of up in the th toolies here. But he wants a rare flower. But like I said, I don't, I don't know how to get a rare flower at this stage, uh, at you know, in this area. And I know where they, you know, where to get them later on. Uh, but I'm not sure where to get them right at the moment. And I don't want to risk, you know, going to the beaver dams, first of all, because they're quite a ways to the east. And secondly, getting killed by them if we do rob their stuff. Is this that Hesperornis egg again? Yeah, it is. Okay, let's pick that up and then move out of the area and head over to our location. So the game seems to be running pretty good right at the moment. I can't complain too much. Um, the thing too is, for those of you who may not know, with the babies that are now in the game, if you tame their parent, then you can also uh, basically imprint on the baby. Look at the colors on this thing, that is cool. Uh, or if you, you know, if you want to be a little crueler, <laughs> you can uh, you can kill the parent and then take the baby. Uh, what level are you? You are. And I'm having a hard time seeing the level. Oh, okay, it's sixty-four. Yeah, we don't want to mess with that. Well, what do you want, dude? You want a tento berry? Okay, um, let's grab a tento berry and. Maybe we can tame this Moz Chops. Moz Chops is a really good early game uh, tame. Oh, we got him. Hot damn. All right, we're going to call you Chops. Uh, you must be pretty damn low level. Yeah, <laughs> level 11. But you know what? That's a... Uh, oh, it's a female too. That's better than um, nothing at all though, right? We'll get us started. Uh, what's the matter with me? Oh, I guess I'm thirsty. Okay, let's go get some water. That is cool, man. Okay. Um, there's supposed to be a way that you can adjust the the camera angle of the dino. I just don't know what key it is. Is it um, CXV? That just gets into her, to her inventory. Okay, so yeah, she's got super low health. I think health and weight are going to be the main things that we're going to want um, on her. And she's not really she's not really able to fight anything except for really small critters, maybe. All right, now we got to figure out how to get around here. I think unless we want to go way up into the Thule's, which I kind of don't want to right now. I think we're going to have to try and swim around this point. Um, I did see a, a shark over here, but let's just... It, it's not a real far swim, so let's just go for it. It's so beautiful under the water now in this game. Just gorgeous. Just get around to this side without attracting... There is a shark over there, but I think we, we're good. Okay, cool. Yeah, so basically this point um, that's straight ahead of... Oh, there's a Pego. I don't want to mess with him. Uh, straight ahead of us is a um, is where we're going to go. You know what we could do? Maybe we could actually get this Pego to tame up. I mean, they, they're not the worst thing in the world to have for an early game tame. So if we just put this here, you you stay there and stay passive. Uh, let's just see what happens. Because if we put the medjo berries in our thing, he should steal that and then 
We tame him. All right. We're going to call you Peg. Well, are you a male or a female? You're a female. Uh, or no, a male. Okay, Peg, your first order of business is to kill that son of a bitch right there. Kill him. Oh, do the whistles not work? Shit. Okay. Okay, everybody... Everybody follow me. And then... There we go. Okay. That's right. I forgot. They have to be following me first. Oh, that's right. Moz chops are wimps. They don't... Here, can you... Can you kill that guy? Why the hell isn't period working for attack? Um, whistle... Attack my target whistle. Attack this target. It's period. That's what I was pushing. And it's doing a thing too, but it's not... Is it weird? It's not actually attacking him. Oh, there it goes. What? Uh, oh, maybe it wasn't uh, visually on the the critter. Like it, 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 well, the critter wasn't where we were visually seeing it. I think that's what the issue was. Okay. Yeah, like I said, lots of uh, issues that are going to have to figure out. Okay, we'll carry this guy on our shoulder, and we got ourselves some meat and hide out of the deal, so that doesn't suck. Uh, let's give you some more health, and I'm going to give you a little bit of weight, too. And so I guess meat just stacks in things of 40, huh? Okay. I usually play this game with a stacking mod, so that's going to take some getting used to. And like I said, if it gets a little too frustrating, I might install a stacking mod later. But we're going to try without it for now. Okay, we killed that Pego. I don't think it stole anything from us, did it? No. Uh, why won't he harvest this uh, dodo here? He does as soon as we hop off him. What the hell's up with that? I don't know. Um, okay, yep, I'm gonna keep pumping health on him. Or her, I keep calling, calling him her. In fact, since she's a her, oh, this is different. Um, options, or er, change name. You're going to be Choppa. Okay, cool. Uh, I'm not going to use her to start harvesting berries and stuff until we get to our location. Uh, what is that? Oh, that's an Avaraptor. Okay, we're good. Because, you know, otherwise she'll start getting heavy and all that. Don't tell her I said that, though. So I'd like to be... I'd like my camera to be in a little closer. What is the key for that? Um, let's see here. Change dyno camera mode is left alt. Okay. So left alt. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, let's go left alt to deactivate camera. Let's see to reset default. Yeah, I like that right about there. Left alt to deactivate. Looks like you have to hold it down for a moment. Okay, yeah, I, it, it zoomed. Oh, shit, there's a, what is that, a theory? No, that's a parasaur. Um, it kind of zooms out a little bit when they take off, but I think we're okay with that. All right, so we're going to have to go up and around. Now, the, the one thing I'm going to have to do very soon is I'm going to have to um, build a, probably a ladder system. Oh, nice, it's raining down to the water because there's no water up on this. This little promontory here. Uh, I don't want to get too close to that icky, but what do you want? You want a, a prime fish. No, I don't think we're going to be getting that anytime soon. Okay. So let's head on over this way. What was that? Oh, Adela. Okay, yeah. Don't forget about him. So, 
So the nice thing about rain in Ark is you get... Oh, something just knocked a tree down over there. Hopefully it's nothing concerning compies. Oh, a bunch of them. Um, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. When it rains in Ark, you get... Uh, it refills your water meter, which is kind of nice. Okay, he doesn't have any stamina, so let's just have him follow. And this is where we're going to build our first base, because here again, this is where I built my first base first time I ever played this game. Um, it's a little bit different out here, though, than it was originally. Um, there used to be like the, a big kind of uh, some boulders and almost like a little archway that you had to walk through to get over here. But uh, they've changed it up just a little bit. Uh, the island, you know, the overall layout of the island is the, pretty much the same as it was before, but a lot of the features have changed. Um, and I really like this big tree here, so I think we're going to try and keep that there um, just because it looks cool. Uh, okay, so here is our first Explorer note. Like I mentioned um, at the start of this series, here, let's uh, let's get the pego down in case uh, we need to fight these bastards. Okay. Well, it's nice to have a couple pets already, huh? Um, do you have... Yeah, you've got levels. Oh, man, your health is really low. Let's, let's just pump health on the little guy here. And then you got more levels? Yeah. Let's give you health and let's give you weight. So, anyway, like I said, um, we are going to go after Explorer Dotes. Um, you know, just because I like them and I think they're really cool to the story, especially for those of you who may not be familiar with the Ark story. Um, and this will be our first one. This is, uh, Helena note number seven. So it's not the first one in her, uh, there's four different stories that happen on the island. There's Helena, there's Dr. Uh, Rockwell, there's, uh, Mei Lin, I think her name is, uh, she's the Asian warrior girl, um, and then there's um, a Roman centurion warlike dude. I can't think of what his name is off the top of my head. Um, so this is one of Helena's notes. She is a, I think she's a biologist maybe or something like that. And um, so yeah, let's see what it has to say. Oh, it's not going to, you know what? It's not going to play it because I already found this note when I was playing off camera earlier. So, all right. Um... <laughs> But we can go to... Oh, shit. We got six levels. Okay, let's give ourselves a couple things of health. A little bit of stamina. Um, let's give ourselves some... Uh, the rest, I think we're just going to do wait for now. Uh, if we go here, though, to... Explorer Notes. And we click on this. Th this is what will happen the first time, you know, we find a note. I never thought this island was normal exactly. I mean, there are giant obelisks floating in the sky for Pete's sake. Not to mention that cave I found, which hid a platform similar to those found at the base of said obelisks. Well, similar, except for those oddly shaped holes that were carved into its podium. I guess I just didn't care about all that. So long as I had my beautiful, unique, and untainted ecosystem to study, I was happy. But now... No, I shouldn't write it off just yet. Not before I arrive at Rockwell's. There's still a chance that my data is off, or that I miss something obvious. I won't give up on my paradise just yet. Okay. So, yeah, that's our our very first uh, Explorer note that we'll have in the game. All right, you guys. Well, uh, I think we're going to go ahead and wrap up the first episode here. We got to our, our base destination. And um, so what I'm going to do is... Uh, stop the game, get the first video edited and ready to upload, and then we'll uh, start up where we left off and continue uh, our adventure here in Ark Survival. No, yeah, Ark Survival Ascended. I almost said <laughs> evolved. So thanks everybody for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment and share the video, and we'll catch you all in the next episode. Goodbye.